To improve the shadows and the lights in our scene, I'm going to select few objects and increase their light map resolution. Let's start with these guys here, the sliding doors. Looks good. And by the way, when you see me isolating selection or and isolating, it's a custom shortcut I have. So if you right click any object, you can go to visibility and show only selected and show all actors or height selected so height selected i set it to shift h h hide uh, h just to show only selected Control h to show back everything and you can set shortcuts from edit editor preferences let's see you want to set the shortcut for show only selected when you go to editor preferences you just search here show only selected and you will see in general the keyboard shortcuts the level editor you can show only selected it's set to H so you can make a new one or change it or delete it so that's how you set shortcuts in Unreal Engine let's select these guys and let's increase their light map resolution to something like 256 let's select the ceiling and increase its resolution to something like 512 this kitchen increase the resolution to 256 maybe 128 on this guy this guy will catch some shadows from accessories we will put later so let's put it to something like 512 this wall it covers it goes from here to here so it definitely need to have a higher resolution you can see that here like this black artifact it will be gone when we increase the resolution of this wall same for these guys you can see these leaks and splotches same here let's select this closet looks good and set its values to something larger for the walls I usually make walls at 512 or 1024 depends really so this guy can be for example 256 and if it still looks meh we can increase it this window or all of these windows can go from 64 to 128 and then we can see if we need to increase anything this wall can go to 512 after we increase the resolution for most of our objects let's make the light again it will take so much longer because we increased everything from 64 to 128 512 and so on the lights look so much better than before I want to emit warm lights from the ceiling I usually do that with the rectangular light or you can assign an emissive material this time let's do it with the rectangular light so the third width could be 5 centimeters or 10 doesn't matter and the barn length and you can play with this to have more control over your light so usually I set this to 2 or to 1 I don't really need it when it comes to objects like this so let's set the intensity to something like 2 and let's also get rid of this lens flare it's super annoying to let's go to the post process volume and go to lens flares intensity set it from 0 to 0 0.1 or just 0 if you don't if you don't want it completely I set it to 0 0.1 just to keep this small effect so it's like barely there let's move our light up let's increase its height or width to cover to cover this space something like this click your mouse the left mouse button click and drag you will move forward and backward like this if you press left mouse and right mouse button together you can move the camera up and down left and right depending on your uh, mouse movement and right click again to look around so you will get used to these uh, slowly to duplicate an object you can press alt and drag so now we have two of it three four 
let's enable rotation click alt and drag or like so now we duplicate this object on the Z rotation axis and let's set the lights from stationary to static static are fully baked lights and they are the cheapest when it comes to performance so let's decrease this to 200 350 move this guy to that corner So let's duplicate this guy and put it somewhere here and let's make it This looks good. Let's build light. 